<laughs> when I was at the fight, I was feeling different. I didn't know that the whole entire Barclay Center hated him. Everybody, nobody was rooting for him, and he lost the entire fight. Well, I wouldn't say nobody was rooting for him. It was quiet in there, at least on my side. It was quiet because, you know, the fight wasn't that eventful for a casual boxing fan. A real boxing fan is going to at least get caught up in the suspense of can these guys accomplish the things they're trying to accomplish within the parameters of a given round. But a casual boxing fan doesn't understand, like, why are they punching each other? At one point, Garcia was like, hit me, hit me, boom, 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 boom. I did not hear him talking in there. Did you hear Mike? I read his lips. <laughs> I did not say hit me. <laughs> I did not see Mike in there talking. <laughs> hit me, I say. It is. <laughs> Rocky dialogue. Wait, so are are you? So are you? You're not interested. You're not particularly interested or excited by Mayweather McGregor. No, no, I didn't say that. I mean, it's exciting, but it's just like I'm not gonna go and. I mean, listen, man. Listen, Floyd Mayweather's probably training as we speak. Yes. And as he's training, do you know what Conor McGregor's doing? Learning how to box. <laughs> right, right, right. So he can fight a guy that was born with boxing gloves on. Right. <laughs> 10 ounce gloves. So it's just like, he's, I just don't see how McGregor can do it. And in your situation, when you go to a fight, you sit in the most expensive seats in the house. And are they always comped when you get those seats? You sometimes have to pay, right? Of course. Yes. So you have to weigh if you're going to buy the most expensive <laughs> ticket, is it worth it to drop 70 grand to go watch this? Fiasco. Now, I will say about the McGregor Mayweather fight that it's such a spectacle that that in and of itself is worth seeing. That I feel like no matter what happens, Conor McGregor is a very big winner and talks himself into a lot of a lot of money. It's his first fight and he gets to fight the very best. And I just feel like that's what the fight's going to look like. Yeah, I, I agree with you. Do you, uh, we got a little bit weirded out when the, the racial overtones have gotten a little. You said it off the air earlier, but I'll say it. Boxing's racist and been racist a long time. I'm going with Floyd Mayweather just because he's black, not because I like him as a person. And I know he's a better fighter. You know, I honestly, man, the racial overtime, I mean, for what I do, my ears are a lot less sensitive than most people's. And in my heart of hearts, I believe that these guys are, are great fighters. You know, McGregor's from a different genre of fighting, but it's not like I don't respect what he does. I just don't think he's as good at boxing. Boxing, specific, right. Right. So a lot of people will say Floyd Mayweather should act a certain way because of his stature or his celebrity. And I propose that perhaps his excellence is his message because he's really, really good at boxing. Like in that circle square, he might be one of the most competent people on earth. When he's doing what he actually does, he's great. And life is complicated. Everyone messes up in life, but can't everyone box that good? And so I, I enjoy Floyd Mayweather. And I enjoy Conor McGregor, and I, I don't get bent out of shape about things he says because I know he's getting ready to fight a guy that I'm sure he has to feel deep in his heart is going to whoop his ass. And it's a lot of money to take that ass whooping. I would let Floyd Mayweather beat me up for that kind of money. If he want to take a fight with me, I'd do it. 